thanks for joining me. During this brief video I'll be showing you some of the many features in Quaff, including how it can be used to extract data from web pages through screen scraping, and also how it can be used to extract video information out of YouTube, where you can actually store that information in a database in Quaff, or you can actually uh, copy it to an XML file or CSV file, which you can then retrieve. Um, so the first thing we need to do is once you register you can access Quaff straight away because we supply with free credits and we supply free credits every month so you can always be using Quaff for free. So if we just log in now and the first thing we'll do is we'll extract data from a web page so we just need to load that into our configuration browser there are various other views we have on our browser on this configuration but we will stay in the configuration view it's very similar to a normal browser um, and we're going to extract this product and price information from this computer store so first thing we'll do is we'll just give it a starting point on that page and an end point so we're going to extract from the aero cool and seventy eight dollars you don't have to be specific um, you can copy and paste or just type in as I've done. Um, there's other various options and of types of scans that you might want to do, um, whether it's you want to scan for a particular value or monitor a value if it's changing, such as a share price or something, or weather report. But in this example, we want to retrieve between values. So we want to retrieve between the Aero Cool and the Cooler Master with a price of $89 in that table. So once we've selected that, Quaff will then go and check the page and it will highlight various text that it thinks um, is matched to those generic values we added. So what you do is you just need to select which ones that are specific that you meant, uh, that you want Quaff to monitor from. And that's number two and then when you're happy with that selection you select that and then you just give it the endpoints as well so we say cooler and we can say 89 and then we repeat that process and then Quaff then highlights that text again so we will select the third one and the first one that's the only one there then we save that and then we save our selection and then you see that Quaff has actually loaded that and saved it uh, in its database so we, al we always have access to that URL then we then just go to our test manager where we can run and mine the, the site so we just select the, the URL from our list there um, we'll do a single URL test in this example so we just click on the single URL button and then we just start the test. And there we have it. Quaff has returned um, that table in a uh, online format. Um, now once it's returned that you've got various options there. You could actually save that to the database, um, XML file, CSV or even an RSS feed. RSS may be more relevant if you are uh, uh, monitoring a share price or um, weather or something where you, it's more specific to a value but um, um, the uses are I think are quite um, unlimited so there's various scope of how you might wish to use some of those files. So that's um, a, a quick overview of of Quaff extracting product data from a website. Uh, there's very out various other options within Quaff, um, which I'll briefly just go over before I'll um, show you how you can extract data from YouTube. Um, Quaff keeps a list of all its websites that you you've, um, you create. It keeps a list of projects. Projects are a uh, means uh, of grouping all your URLs together so you can then test and run against a project which is multiple URLs or schedule so it actually saves it's a bit more efficient. Um, there's the various URLs and mining values, that's the entry we just created. It 
keeps a log of all activity and, and tests that you've done. You can create a schedule um, of when you would like um, the background processes to run and mine your data and create um, output files for you to um, up, um, download and it has an API um, where you can actually uh, uh, create an XML input file for Quaff and it will then process that file and it keeps track of your um, your account and you got detailed information on, on either your free credits which you um, get each month or any paid for credits, additional credits you may require. So that's a a very brief overview of, of some of the other functions of Quaff. But what we'll do now is we'll just quickly um, look at how to extract uh, videos from YouTube and save those. Now, so all you need to start off with is just uh, search for whatever um, uh, videos that you'd like to extract. So if I just put in say Top Gear and search and then Craft will now go off and search and extracts a whole lot of video information. Now what we can do is we could individually save this video to the database. So if we save that first one, it's now added and we could add a series of videos just, just by simply clicking on it and once we've saved um, the videos we can then we can see our save video list and um, you can just keep on saving as many as you want to um, either view or, or how you want to process so if we go back and rerun our query again right, you can then see we've got a whole series of videos if you want to for example, um, save all of those videos to ex extract them all to uh, XML. You can just click there and it will um, um, check all those checkboxes. And then we just add them to our list, videos added to our se selection list. And then we can go on and so forth and get the next s series of screens of videos. And then we can add those to the to QAF. So if we wanted to the next slot, we can just select all those videos and add those that page as well. And then when we're finished, we can just choose to where we want to save it. Save it to video, uh, sorry, sorry, to CSV or an XML. So if we just save it to XML, oh sorry, CSV that was. We've now written 20 records to the CSV file, which you can then download, and that will contain information on the YouTube IDs, the the views, rating, comments, um, titles, various information which has been extracted from YouTube. Um, so um, that is a very uh, brief um, uh, overview of Quaff and a lot of the, uh, some of the features. Um, so I hope you hopefully that gives you a good idea of, of, of how powerful Craft can be, and uh, I look forward to you seeing you in um, some of our other videos. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.